Now, this is not going to be your first blackout tournament. You've not only competed in several, you've won two blackout tournaments already. Do you think uh, the rest of the guys on this stage have something to fear? Absolutely. Oh, uh they're already spitting game. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to let you sit down, get ready. We've got an We've got an incredible competition about to get underway and to take us through it. We couldn't ask for a better team. We've got Moses, Golden Boy, and Machine on the desk. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you so much, Rachel. Yes, welcome everyone to TwitchCon 2018. It's the Doritos Bowl. Golden Boy, Machine, Moses. We're about to throw down here on the horn in just a little bit. Super excited for the action. And, uh, you know, yeah, I guess we do got to kind of talk about the fact yeah. that Shroud literally just threw his whole team under the bus, God bless. And then, then he didn't build on it with any smack talk whatsoever, no, just absolutely so stone like, cold. I played on a big stage, my teammates, <laughs> not really, they're done for. But Jason, okay. we've, we've done a lot of Counter-Strike, we've seen Shroud, that's probably yeah. the sassiest I've ever seen him. That is that is pinnacle Shroud He said absolutely talk. with a slight smirk, that's fire. Yeah, is Shroud. it really? Yeah, that's about as hot as it gets. That's not bad from him, actually. That's I actually fear for the rest of this podcast, <laughs> that's, as, that's as hot as it gets. There are actually some pretty solid teams, though, uh, and I, I think we gotta address you know, the elephant in the room. We have to talk about uh, one, Jack Dunlop, Uncle Jack, right? Courage. Kind of, sort of cheating, uh, you know, as he picked up two oh. Call of Duty World Champions and a Halo Champion okay. to play in this uh, <laughs> in, in this competition. The Devil's Advocate. They did it on a controller. This is all mouse and keyboard. Uh, you know, it's not going to transfer. It we had transfer. this conversation yesterday. We know it's a step down. No, <laughs> listen. Okay, the, the, the facts remain. There's no auto aim here. The, you, one, words hurt, okay? So let's just calm it down. Uh, but, but two, I think the thing that you gotta keep in mind here is that these guys have played in front of the biggest crowds, playing for some insane cash, and they're doing that here. They have a lot of confidence. So I'm really looking forward uh, to that one here, John. Yeah, we can bring up the format as well. These guys will play be playing under because there are a lot of different rules that you can follow. Four different heats that we're gonna be having. Scores are made by the kills. Obviously, it's gonna be brought up as well. Uh, there's a multiple depending on where you place in the tournament overall. But that four different heat thing, they're going to start each one out playing in the same, very same game, the very same, right. uh, you know, 99 person. So four one-hour heats, the teams will look to score as many points as possible, and the teams will be awarded points for earning kills. So basically, this isn't going to be hiding in a hut, having a conversation no. for 15 minutes. This is going to be pursuing the frags. Yeah, Nothing you got to go on the hunt, and if you're able to do so, then you will lock the lion's share of that two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollar prize pool, one hundred and fifty grand, a lot of nuts, Ooh, so a lot much. of nuts, so many peanuts, and let's, let's not forget as well that there is a multiplier and bonus points to be awarded if you get in top ten. So hopefully, dream scenario, we have, we get to see not only the fact that they start in the same lobby, so we're going to be seeing all of these teams. I'm talking like all four squads, last players left. And of course, you get the kills and the multiplier on top of that. We could have some real fire here today. Well, let's bring up those four teams because we can. We know we just brought them out on stage, but we can actually show you guys, especially at home, if you want to get a little bit of a recap on who's playing on which squad. It's gonna be. It's gonna be wild times. I'm. I mean, we all know. I'm gonna stick with with my man Shroud and even Justin with some experience in yeah. the old game. Um, and that's who I've got to go with, despite all the other talent on this stage. Yeah, I, I, I did mention Courage before. You know, yeah, Courage, Karma, TP, Hysteria. Uh, but stacked. Team Lupo, though, actually a uh, pretty solid team as well. Uh, Ninja with no L. Uh, you also have Mad Rusky and Munition. And Munition, such a fantastic FPS player. Yeah. And then Dr. Lupo. I mean, this guy is no, he's no slouch. And yeah. Rachel had said it before. He brought the thunder over at the Rose of Tin the Tap Man. <laughs> this time around, he's got to bring the thunder. Did he I hear as well that Hysteria was actually like a formal, uh, used to be a teammate that dueled with, uh, with Ninja in games? Yes, actually. So, so a little bit of bad blood there Hysteria on different teams? Hysteria has betrayed the family. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a Godfather moment at the end of this broadcast. I'm looking for only hope. Yeah, I'm looking for underdogs as well. Now, I don't, would, would, I, would you hate me, Jason, if I said that this Shroud team could be somewhat of a of a dark horse in this tournament. I just feel like they're so I wouldn't much, hate you, Alex. You guys are such Shroud fanboys <laughs> here. This is so, we get it. You guys did Counter-Strike. We understand that, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, mechanically, you know, circle jerk aside, Shroud <laughs> is truly really damn yes, good yes. at putting crosshairs on heads and clicking. He is good at clicking. And I'm just saying that this, is, this works perfectly for him. He's going to run around. He's going to have strangers sitting at home, and they're just going to get bodied by Shroud. It's going to be amazing. We, I'm expecting 20 kills plus. 
Oh, yeah, I would not be surprised if that ends up happening. And Shroud did uh, perform really well at that Code Red tournament, the Dr. Disrespect tournament that yep. had just happened yeah. and uh, ended up winning that. As a matter of fact, beating Courage and TP in the finals. Now, the thing is, though, oh, is that it, it was a different kind of format, right? I mean, we're talking about twos versus fours, so there's a lot of other things you have to factor in, right? When you get into an engagement and you have to deal with two players, right? You know, you get the one down, you got to look for, for his boyfriend. You got to look, you know, sure. look for the assistants, right? The best friend. And this time around, you got to look for the squad. And that is going to be a determining factor here. Obviously, I don't think that Shroud is really going to have much of a problem there. But again, I got to go back to the beginning. You know, he, he threw his homies under the bus. He really did. I was actually kind of shocked by that. He's, <laughs> he's supposed to be a good teammate. He's one of those guys that everyone tells you if they play on a team with him that he's one of the best. We haven't really touched on some of the other teams. What about Dr. Lupo's team? Yeah, yeah, Dr. Lupo's team, another solid team. I, I, I said uh, Ann Munition, yeah. a fantastic uh, FPS player in her own right. She is definitely going to bring it here on this stage. And, and for Team Ninja as well, I mean, he is a battle royale beast, right? I mean, it's safe, safe to say a lot of those transferable skills are going to be uh, shredding. There's no doubt about it. Josh OG, I just know he gives away a lot of skins. I don't know what else, uh, <laughs> what, what else he's going to be doing. It's wow, going to be exciting. That was, that was hey, man, pos positive vibes, bro. I'm only messing. I'm okay. only messing. But Gold Glove as well. I mean, <laughs> if you look at all of these names, these are all co competent FPS gamers. And, of course, you've got Big, big Blue Ninja, who's going to be fragging. Yeah, he's, he's going to be tearing it up there. Fear itself, uh, for those who don't know, a uh, very formidable uh, Halo pro player, has won many events in the past. So this guy is definitely going to be an individual to look out for. Okay. You know, I've known him for a very long time, just as long as I've known uh, Ninja. And, you know, when you are a competitor, you, you know, some players make the switch to playing from console to PC, and they yeah. tend not to do all that hot. But these guys have definitely, like, buckled down and gotten, like, ten times better and have really grown over time. And, you know, I mean, everyone always uh, judges, right, the console players. But let's not forget that Ninja <laughs> no was a former Halo pro. So, yeah, you know, I'm just saying, right, no. maybe, maybe when you get your hands on the sticks and then you make your way over here, you actually do pretty well. I, I don't know. Just throwing it out We'll there, find out. It's all going to be settled today. Yeah. Entire debate. I do have to kind of almost just eat my words before we even start just because, jokes aside, I do think Courage has got himself an MVP squad. He's just yeah. world champion Call of Duty players in a Call of Duty tournament versus streamers. I mean, this is going to be... There's your COD, ba COD background coming out. I'm, I'm telling you, Karma, <laughs> Karma, apparently, I was talking to Courage, I was talking to him backstage, he was feeling very confident, and he was saying that Karma's better on the mouse and keyboard than he yes. was on the controller, really? which, yeah, yeah. which blows bad. my mind. Yeah. Right. So we yeah, he actually competes in a lot of uh, BR tournaments, and he's, right. he's really, really good. And it's Karma. This is one of the best players of all time. I wouldn't be surprised if they've got their rings on. Yes, on Karma, Karma should have his rings. He should have his rings <laughs> on, on hand. I mean, it might weight his mouse a little bit, but you know, whatever. <laughs> a handicap, really. that's just yeah. how good he is. Exactly, he's right? Slow down. He's gotta let him have, you gotta have, let him have a little bit of that. But in any case, so guys, we're gonna be Ooh. jumping into the action a little bit. Okay. All right, San Jose, I need you to give me your energy. Are you ready? No, 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 we gotta do that again. San Jose, are you ready? Turn it up, I'll turn it up, baby. <laughs> I'm feeling the heat. In fact, I actually am. I might take this jacket off, but I'm excited. All the same, we're gonna be dropping any moment now. All of these teams are gonna be in the same lobby to start things off, and then it's just a free-for-all. As soon as you're down, or if you're down, of course, probably should start with if, then you will just jump straight into the lobby, and you've got 60 minutes. Four 60-minute heats to do as much damage as you can with the kills, and of course, as a multiplier, getting the closest to that top spot. And it looks like we're into game. Yeah, let's not forget that these players are gonna be jumping in to the same lobby first. So that is gonna really set us up with potentially a face-off at the end if they're able to make it that far. And, and given the talent that we have on this stage, I will not be shocked if we have one, or, or two, two or three, I should say, two or three teams make it all the way to that final circle. I think the scrappy engagers at the beginning would be awesome if they just drop on top Stop of each other each and other. just go for it right off the bat, see who <laughs> picks up the weapons first. Either way, we've got Ninja here. Just looting up as they're getting started, getting geared up to go head to head. Yeah, we're going to be deploying shortly, from what I understand. Ah, yes, the deployment pending. I was, I've been juked. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. I knew it. I was you knew it was going to be me, didn't you? Ah, oh, poor Jason. Poor Jason. But yeah, they're getting the feel for their setups. Certainly isn't the same as that one you're you're so used to and accustomed to at home. It always is a little different, right? Yeah. You know, like when you jump into a stage like this, you gotta kind of readjust, get used to things, right? Maybe the mouse is a little bit different. Every PC is different, oddly yeah. enough. Come on. 
Everything's everything. I mean, I, to be fair. Special snowflake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this PC you know, just feels a little different, you know? But I do think, you know, it, it is the silliness like chair height. It's the silliness like, did you manage to bring it exactly the same mouse or is it a new one out of the box? The rulers to All the of that stuff. Yeah. All the good stuff. Monitor height. Some yep. people get stressed about that. You bring the ruler to make sure it's the perfect. Oh, we've seen it. We've I've seen it. it. Yeah. I've seen it quite a bit. <laughs> it's, it, it kills me every single time. I mean, you know, or you just uh, plug in a controller and you're good to go. Or well, that too. Just... <laughs> all right, uh, we we can't keep circling back to that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. All right. All right. All right. You guys, we got it. We got it. So, in a little bit here, as uh, you see, the players are starting to flood into the lobby. Warm up. Checking the sensitivity. I'm excited for this. We had some fun games yesterday here at the Esports Stage. Some attendants, uh, attendees managed to come. It was an appetizer for the it main really course. It really was, yeah. I the, um, the amuse bouche, as my friend Sideshow likes to say. I definitely am excited for this one. I feel like we even got a, just a little taste of just how exciting some of those end games are going to be. Oh, yeah. Now have... imagine if the squads are there, not just necessarily against uh, strangers from the, uh, from the game. Instead, it's going to be potentially squad v squad towards the end of this one. Judging by every single player on that stage's capability, we are going to be seeing some pretty intense closing game, especially here, assuming everyone performs to their very best at the start of this drop. All right. Five-second countdown has begun. I, I kind of want to ask the audience, who you think is going to win? You think it's going to be Team Lupo? How about uh, how about Team Ninja? Oh, okay, oh. Okay. All right. okay, all right. Team Courage. Here we go. This is what about Team Shroud? Oh, wow! Damn. There he is. Okay, all right. And I happen to be sitting next to two of Shroud's biggest fanboys here, so this is going to be a good one. Let's go, folks. It's time to get into the game. Our first matchup of this heat here at TwitchCon 2018, the Doritos Bowl. Let's get it. I'm looking forward to seeing where these players are going to drop. $250,000 for one hour heats. It is, it's madness. It's esports in 2018. That's exactly what it is. And of course, presented by Doritos. Let's see how they choose to play this one. They're all looking to be dropping in a relatively close proximity, as you would expect. Okay, so Team Shroud going. I, I actually. I like the uh, the drop here by by the train station. Actually, really good location here. Oh, already Ooh. an engagement for Shroud, and he's gonna be able to find the first. It's it's out. Oh, Wait. he's gonna get him at the end. He's still dropping, and there is the kill. Final. Oh no! It was Mad Rusky. Oh that's no! A, that's <laughs> one from Team Lupo already. Down, out. It's Lupo. only about thirty seconds. Where's the rest? Where are they? I Where guess. are your teammates? Oh, okay. Taking some shots here, but Shroud managing to. Get out of that one. Using that Spitfire, very, very powerful gun there. And munitions gonna go down. Another one. Oh, the thirst. Oh dear. But Chad, oh man, bless up, Chad. You're done. This is a good. Okay, Shroud. Has right. anyone like? No, Chad just got revived. He's okay. He's breathing. Oh, okay. Whew. Chad's my boy, man. You know, I just want nothing but the best for him. <laughs> oh, this is just a taste of what Shroud's gonna bring to the table. Great start for him. Couple of. Not bad loot. Early eliminations, yeah. I mean, that's one thing that always strikes me is just how fast they can pick up all the gear that they're running across and everything and getting ready to go and identifying it immediately. Yeah, not getting, like, too distracted. Not only is he looting, he's bragging as well. He's got two kills. Two kills from the stage, no less, in his rival gangs. And already looking pretty damn geared up to start things off. Yeah, they're taking their time as well after those first, uh, first eliminations. Kind of made them feel a little bit safe in the area. Now just investigating, but in no kind of rush as that first circle slowly comes in. But what does confuse me is where is the rest, right? So ammunition with Mad Rusky down, but that, the, you've got no L and Dr. Lupo still around this area, one would assume. Maybe I, a slight miscommunication, misdrop? Sure, sure. Could be, could be. Uh, I'm trying to look actually at Lupo. So Lupo is, oh no, as a matter of fact, I think they're all out. They're all out. Okay, they go. Yeah, yeah, game. all four are out. So Lupo's team is eliminated right away. Now, the thing is, they can jump into another game and, and just jump right into it because it's all about getting as many uh, kills as you can. Catch up on the, on the kills in the classic pub stomp. Uh, the, it's so funny. You can see the chat. They're going absolutely crazy that Shroud is in there. And now, of course, POV of Ninja. They have no idea who else they're playing with in this game right now. Oh, boy. This is a stack lobby and blackout if I've ever seen one. Couple players though, nice shot from Ninja. Able to tag the armor there, force that player back into the gas station. And Fear itself and Joshua G, they're just going to jump on that one. That player, he's gonna be basically locked inside of there. This looks like a uh, stun deal. And that's the first frag, it's gonna be easy. 
Nice work from Fear itself. They are actually getting bullets from elsewhere as well, though. They're not necessarily safe here. Looking for cover, but also need to check their corners. This looks like this will be their home temporarily. Two bodies dropped for them. And all still breathing. That was a nice attack onto the building as well with the rifles keeping space for Ninja far back as he gets some of those pop shots in. Slowly taking it over. Do you think I could pull off blue hair? No. No, not at all. All right, well, that's the end of that conversation. <laughs> I mean, I would like to see it. We should have told. We should have told him. We yes. should have said yes. We should. It would have been like a Ted Mosby situation. Where you're like, oh, you totally can't pull oh, off the bear. Oh dear. You know, and then you just do it, and then we we have a good laugh. So during our appetizer yesterday, uh, Golden Boy, we talked a lot about utility usage and how effective it can be. We're yes. seeing a lot of these players picking it up in space, prioritizing and equipping the likes of Molotov, Nine Bang. We're going to see a lot of that later on. Yeah, you, you're going to want to be able to take full advantage of the utilities. And Blackout, unlike any other PR, really allows you to have the freedom to, to engage in a variety of different ways. So if you're using the Nine Bang, for example, I mean, that is basically so going to... So they're going to see God for like a brief moment, you know, because of how bright <laughs> that screen is going to be. Uh, but you also could use the smokes to be able to disengage in a fight if you need to. Concussions are a great initiation tool. And then let's not forget about the frags, the cluster, which always pushes people back. There's some great utility that you can pick up here and take full advantage of. And honestly, I expect these players to do just that. So let's see how this one continues to unfold. 45 left in the initial lobby, which of course we do have at least Team Shroud and Team Ninja still in attendance. Yeah, pretty healthy as well. All three, player, three players with armor on their quad bikes moving up towards the circle. Yeah, maybe we can jump in with a different POV as they are just driving into that circle, going to be looking for their next exchange, but they'll be safe and no sweat just yet, the little gang. Yeah, I want to see Team Courage here. And yeah, I'm intrigued. Just a little bit where they're going to be located. Because you're looking right now in a situation where, you know, this you're hitting your first circle, things are kind of just going to slow down a little bit. You're, Try and see if you can get some stragglers, pick up some extra loot, and then Dropping of course... Dropping perks for nine bang, that's, that's, that's telling. Yeah, you, again, you're going to want to keep that. Take full advantage of it. Players did not do so yesterday, and we're going to, we're really going to be in for a treat, especially in those, uh, like the second to last, the uh, third to last circle, like the, the, those are going to be some, yeah. some especially great fights. When these guys get into action, I just watched a couple of streams leading up to this, and they just have never-ending aggression. It's just like non-stop fighting whatsoever. So when these circles get small, it's going to be absolutely wild to see how they like to engage. Still just looking Still has around. that sensor down as well. This, is, this was something that we saw, you know, a, a strong win condition uh, when we were casting just yesterday. We got to see the power of that sensor down. <laughs> But waiting to be used appropriately as well. Yeah. When you're going to be in engagement, when it gets a little bit smaller, when you have a better idea of where they might be coming from. Oh, yes, we get to see a POV from Karma. Woof! Not too shabby. Oh, this is a good engagement oh, as well, oh, over the Karma. top as well. And yeah, there's that never ending. That's Choco Taco down, but now he's in some trouble getting shot, and he's got to get into safety. How is he still alive? That's so interesting. Already now, Team Shroud have lost a man. He's knocked. Choco Taco knocked by Team Courage. And I don't know if you could see there, but I think there was a, an issue with two of the players of Team Courage, but I don't think it's really going to matter all that much. I think Team Shroud got... That was it. I think that was a full wipe for Team Shroud, from what I understand. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that comes from, uh, from the base Karma and, and Courage there, so... Okay. okay. Here we go. All right, first blood. Just throwing it out there. So we're ready, Lupo fallen. Now Team Shroud has fallen. It's just going to be Team Courage and what remains of Team Courage, which I believe is just Courage and Karma, as you can see there in the bottom left, and Team Ninja. They're still breathing. And actually, I say that. These guys are going to be under a bit of a world of hurt, just trying to chase that circle. I was going to say, this is not an ideal situation for to be in. Oh, Ninja, oh. he's taking a lot of damage. Got to hide behind the tree. He's got three teammates to bail him out. Ninja again, hunted here. See if we can go for the shot, though, but a good disengage out of that one. Play around the trees, see if you can get the high ground advantage. Josh, Josh OG going to have 11 HP. Fear Ooh. itself throws down that barricade, and there are going to be some players hanging out on top of that, that outpost there. They're a little scattered. They're a little shaken. Do have the sensor dart out. Gold Glove, he's not looking too healthy either. He's going to get that med kit in his veins. They're looking for him. They know oh, this is the player around here. They Gold have Glove the higher is, ground. This should be an advantage. Yeah, and he has no utility to be able to push in with this as well. So he's going to have to rely on his teammates. Got to make that call. Fear itself, though. He's up to fire. Yeah, taking some shots. And this is a very, very weird spot for a Team Ninja to be in here, folks. This is uncomfortable. 
You can barely see who's shooting you. You haven't got the sight line. You haven't got the cover. You're just dancing around trees. Feels like they need to bail out and just yeah. get out of this situation. That initial contact really shook them and kept them spread out. Haven't been able to recover quite yet. This could be good from Josh, though. He spotted one, takes a shot, little rushed. But that's info. They know exactly where they are now. They can start to reposition. Look how scattered they are. You can see in the minimap, they're not necessarily hanging out, or at least Ninja, a bit of a lone wolf. He's on his own. They're letting him go on the flank because he is going to have that snipe as well as, I believe, that is going to be the Maddox. So a good, a good assault rifle that's good up close, but also, you know, really, really strong in the mid-range, obviously, as an assault rifle, but is deceptively good up close. So if anyone does try and push up on him, it, it kind of functions as like a, you know, different kind of SMG, if you will. It's a good weapon to have in that situation, especially as you're rotating in and out of using that as well as a sniper rifle, which I believe he has the outlaw. Yeah, Ninja, he is just going to be on the periphery. They know that circle's going to start closing in, and I think he's going to be first on the scene. Gets some info, an ambitious shot. Doesn't really have the scope for that one. Not necessarily even the weaponry outlaw. It is strong, more of a mid-range rifle. It's more of a paladin shot. Maybe see more of that action later on as these hours continue. He was really going for a prayer with that shot. His teammates are now with him, so at least they've gotten back grouped up after being initially spread. Looking in towards the window, they see the Tracer's a good tag. There's some of the armor getting chucked away. And Ninja now continuing to move forward, playing point for his team right around the edge of the circle. They've still got plenty of time to play with before they start taking damage, but needing to find cover to gain space on the building. They should be safe and sound, at least to try and get into the circle. That's not necessarily a guarantee, though. Still... The only squad to have all four members still standing in the opening battle. Just plenty, barely. Plenty of time, though. 47 minutes in this first heat. Of course, don't forget there is a multiplier, not only for the kills you would get, but also the win itself. And as close as you can get to that top spot. Multiplier only really matters, though, when you get the kills, though. You gotta have at least Touché. a couple to multiply, don't they? So we'll see. Nice little maths lesson, Jason. Thank you. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> You gave us the botany yesterday, I'll bring the map in today. Okay, I like that. Looks like they've got good vision, good shots. Nice connection from Ninja. And another one. They are giving him the shots, giving him the chance, and he is profiting from it. It's only gonna really do just a scratch, though. They'll just be pumping those medkits out. I can't believe they're still peeking into this. They know where he is, they know he's taking shots at him with relative safety. Here itself, though, just barely surviving. Oh, actually, no, he's, he's, he's down. He's got to go get revived, and there he goes. Finally taken out completely. So first player down for Ninja's squad. You can see how paranoid they are, though. They are just checking every single corner. They are just going to have their backs to the circle, and that's smart. That makes sense, right, Golden Boy? That just deletes one part of the map you don't have to worry about. You can have your back to it and feel relatively safe. And when you're, when you're sniping you know, below ground like that, it just is a very, very tough angle to be able to hit there. Also, at this point, given Ninja's position, and they, he has a, about a minute and 10 seconds, they gotta figure out what they wanna do. Because in front of them is just water and a beach and a lot of low ground. Those players, if Ninja's able to get just one good hit, that could be the difference maker here. Uh, and you're going in for the water, and, and the water is just tough. It, it, it kind of just feels like this is just a situation that they that they have to. They have to put themselves in this spot because there's really no other other choice. Really. Yeah, this is. I mean, they have got no meds on Ninja. No, this is health for 58. He's just going to be doing his very best to swim into the next circle. It's not a dream scenario by any stretch of the imagination. It's desperation. He was taking some of those bold shots, but getting chucked down a little bit of damage every time he peeked out to take one. So now it's just, we have to find a new angle of attack. Just going in the water is so risky. One, just one turn, one, one, one moment of cod timing. Okay, and you look, <laughs> and, you will, and you will see them, because he has to keep poking up above water because you lose air so fast. For a bunch of super soldiers that could slide everywhere, they really can't breathe on the water that long. Yeah, that lung capacity needs some work, but it does make a lot of sense. It just stops people from just cheesing it and say, staying under that right. water. From a design perspective, it makes a lot of sense, and they are going to get their heads across. <laughs> Coughing and spluttering, but safe. And take note, 24 left. Still no kills necessarily from Ninja himself, but his teammates have been. I do want to cycle through the uh, players in a little bit to see. Yeah, Dr. Lupo's team did just wipe again on their second drop. Mm. Not going well. Mm. Yeah. Plenty of time still in the heat, though. So we're sticking with Ninja. They, I mean, it is kind of impressive they've been able to get out of that situation. And again, another you know, group of buildings that they can just try and find anything, any med kits. And it's just not there for Ninja. Yeah, dire straits here. 
58 HP and you can always expect someone to be at the lighthouse. Some, and you know how many times that happens to me? I'm like running through and I'm like, oh yeah, no one's gonna be there. It's like late game, the circle's like, you know, starting to collapse in. And, you know, and then just some, some tools just still there, you know? <laughs> just um, someone in the lighthouse. And they're gonna ruin your day. It's like, get out of the lighthouse. You see, someone just rotated out of the lighthouse. Great shot there from Ninja. And it's converted as well. They managed to finish the knock. They have no men. They've got nothing. Look at Gold Glove, 6 HP. Uh, you could throw a paper clip at him and he'd be knocked. It almost feels like they'd rather just not get those engagements. They Ooh. just want to be able to find something. Gets another. That's the squad. That's going to be loot. And fingers crossed for them, there's med kits aplenty on these bodies. Imagine they don't, though. That'll be hilarious. That's, yeah, ready for their face? It's either going to be all smiles or rolling <laughs> eyes. There's nothing. No, there's absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. He's going to try and just patch himself up with a suppressor. <laughs> Shove it on his arm. Well, here's over to Shroud in their new drop as well. Still early game as he's still looting up. Man, no meds there. That is, that is just... That's heartbreaking. Isn't Don't it? worry, we'll be checking in on them uh, periodically. Justin as well, another POV you'll get to see from Team Shroud already. He's going to find a frag. Nice quick start from him. Converts it, and that's two kills already. Bear in mind, it is about kills at the end of the day. Look for another one. He's going to save Chad's life. Did get knocked, but he's so... Look at this, he's cautious. He doesn't want to go for that revive immediately. He knows that that's just a big flag. The remaining squad are going to be trying to find him. I think Shroud might have just done that for him, though. Another for them. Not necessarily all clumped up, but everyone on Shroud's team kind of doing their job, clearing things out, making sure that Revival can come in safely. And Chad is up again. One more Ooh, spotted. Nade is out. Shroud doesn't like the engagement, but he's got it. That is fine Nade work from Shroud. And oh even one God. more spotted. He's in a tough spot, but just bails out. He is so quick. Darting in and out of this building, trying to keep the uh, advantage in his side of the court. He wants to have that element of surprise. Checking his corners. He knows there's going to be aggression from somewhere. Grapple gun from his teammate onto the roof. Getting the high sidelines as well. Some high sense gameplay, constantly readjusting gunshots towards the roof. He's not going to be able to get up there. Doesn't player have the nade as well. Too. He used the cluster. I don't think you saw that player on the first floor. He's going to oh. get challenged here, and he's not going to have to disengage 14. out of that one. Chaco Taco's going to be taken out instead. There is going to be one more player right above him. This is madness. 14 points of health. Again. Hungry for the meds. It doesn't stop them fragging, though. Now, flow motion looking low. I mean, Shroud had to go for that, even with low HP, with his teammate down, he wanted to take that fight. And some, I don't know how he survived this long and all those different engagements, but much like Ninja, he's just starved for medkits as well. He needs to heal up, and he just can't find anything. Yeah, flow motion is Chad, by the way, just in case those of you are unfamiliar. No, yeah. no, it uh, should be oh, Justin. Uh, Justin. Justin, excuse me. Chad is Chad. Chad is Chad. Chad in fact, Chad that's a really Chad. easy mistake not to make. I know. I, I would, I would as well. <laughs> <laughs> Chad just. Oh, things finally Complex starting names. to calm down though for Team Shroud. Couple of warning shots into the helicopter. Also, uh, just an update on Ninja's game. They have found some bandages. Oh, well, that's, that's all as well in the world. Is that? Is he actually hit? He that? is. <laughs> Wait, was that with a Maddox? With no. I mean, I'm. Listen, I'm gonna be very honest with you all right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That was impressive. <laughs> you coming over to Team Shroud? Yeah, I'm, maybe. Maybe. I, mean, I, feel like every, I feel like everyone here is Team Shroud, so I kind of got to be the, the counterbalance. I think there's plenty of support for everyone on that stage. Big names on the Twitch Esports stage here. But the Doritos Ball. They're playing Call of Duty Blackout. And these guys, they're no stranger to this game, and especially to this game mode. I believe Ninja is actually going to be in a fight currently, if we can jump we over are. to his perspective. Still in this first game, by the way. I mentioned before, they managed to find some med, some med kits, some bandages, you know? Just no able to get back into this fight. You don't hit that shot. That, that's, I'm a big fan of the attempt, though. <laughs> Does he take the shot? More of an info, I would assume. He's just going to be using that scope as a quasi-binocular. Getting info from a distance. Look at that circle, though. They are safe and sound. Josh OG. Rattling off some shots, they do seem to be having a lot of scope weapons. They're good at range, however, as that circle closes in, it gets less and less useful. Oh, nice, nice connection. Shot. And those players are going to be in a really annoying spot here because the circle will come down on them and they are going to have to move eventually. From having to desperately swim through the water to get to a new location, they found themselves in a great position. Lots of shots being laid down. Players getting eliminated from the game, not able Ooh. to connect for any of the final kills, but a lot of damage done. 
And still that armor getting taken down slowly. Nice. Open field, nine bang, here we go. Does he get a connection with it? No. A little short on that one. Ended up hitting the fence. That circle is a godsend. Look at that. They can stay. Oh, yeah, they're living the dream right now. They're going to be so comfortable. And Josh did not really need to leave the... Uh, oh, okay, that was a smart play there with the, okay. with the trophy system to try and throw it up so that this way it can give support in case any kind of concussions or whatever come through the, the trophy system will eliminate just the utility right away. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. Such a rough spot to be in the open field like that. A couple players remaining in this game. And Josh OG, he's thirsty. He wants some water. He's so aggressive. How's the grapple gun if he needs to get out of dodge? But doesn't matter, he's just slaying. Squad, fully wiped, courtesy of Josh. How many left now? Only seven left in the game, so four opponents they have to find. Full, full squad, potentially. Team Ninja, this is a strong start. This is the debut. This is the game we started with. And take note, there's only 38 minutes left in this heat, and they've just spent all of this time in the initial game. And, and it wasn't looking good for them for a moment there, right? When they had to make that rotation through the water, I just wasn't really feeling it, to be honest with you. Because no when meds, you go through no the water, hope. no meds. You know, not just, not a prayer in sight. <laughs> and they managed to pull it through here, and they're looking poised to be able to get a victory. So there's probably one opponent squad. It's not necessarily that simple, not that cut and dry, but it could be four versus three, essentially, squad v squad. But just look at the high ground that they have here. They have this building for cover. They have just open field around them. This is the best possible situation to be. And I think the players, I see them there over Fun? on the left side. I don't think Ninja sees them, but they're in the grass on the left. Major instability detected. Oh, that circle. They're about to start wiggling. Let's see if they start the move now. Ninja casting his eyes towards where Golden Boy with his legolas eyes apparently saw them. What can I say, though? I do look like a uh, pudgier version of Orlando Bloom. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll take it. Put you in a blonde wig. Give me a Pirates movie and it's a wrap. Let's go. I can't believe they haven't found him yet. The circle is just getting smaller. They're, they're, well, they're, he has to keep eyes on that left side. He hasn't. They're giving up control of that other building as well. Ninja was on top of it for the information. Now they're just consolidating into one. It's a little bit of room for the other team to work with, but they haven't moved up into the open yet. Is he going? This would be a rather ambitious push, especially on his own. It, so close. There's a potential that they could be inside of, uh, of that particular building in front of Josh. Oh, there they go. Here they are. There's one. Josh. He's going aggressive, does descend from the heavens. He's looking, checking these corners, doesn't know where they've gone now. It's going to be Ninja who's putting in bullets. They've actually swapped. They've forgotten this. Does, this. does manage to evade the nade for now. Back and reloaded. This circle's getting smaller. Josh has been knocked. And no, Ninja's in, pre in pressure as well. He's oh. going to time 180. 180 degrees. It's like a Dorito. Nice. And that's the victory. Team Ninja gets the first win. Very well done. It turned out that it was two teams of two. The players on the left and the players on the right that ended up collapsing as they were right in the center. Wow. All right, well, that was pretty awesome here, but let's, uh, let's go back over to some of our other competitors that are gonna be playing right now. And remember, we have uh, an hour in this heat, so it is about getting as many kills and wins as you possibly can within this first hour. So the games just keep on going. Yeah, 36 minutes left. And take a look at the, uh, the kills as well. Don't forget, you need to just rack up the eliminations and already four for Shroud in this game. We'll be keeping a tally of that one at the end of each heat. Does it look like he's, he seems convinced there's someone over there? Caught a glimpse. God, he's perked up. Look at this. He's using them all make sure none of it goes to waste. And yeah, while I thought someone was up here, well, it looked like they had the idea. Pretty bold out in the open, using the trees for cover. There he is, he's spotted one. He tries to get this shot. There it is, he's tagging him up. Not able to drop him just yet, and just now, his teammate's able to take him off. And more being spotted over the crest of the hill, but they can't complete that one. Yeah, I think they just went into, into the circle. Out. Yeah, I mean, there was really no other option for that player movement-wise. He had to go out there, and then you have Justin that's just gonna push that further, push the advantage. And it's still relatively early, so they could be able to loot up inside of the circle if they want. They're so close to the zone. They'll be okay. And if you're looking for, for tips and for, you know, a way to improve your game, don't watch Shroud because he gets away <laughs> with things that no one else can. He just bounds around, jumps up and down and scopes as he's just on a hillside on his own. Does have the support of his teammates behind him, but this is, uh, 
This is a unique approach to the game. It works for them because of their mechanical ability, their communication, and their weaponry as well. They're pretty set up. Also have good vision, though, of the island. So if anyone does drive through or, or swim through the, I, I believe, Newtown Island over there, then, you know, they'll be, they'll be okay. Just constantly scowl, scouting around, looking at the higher ground, looking in the distance, gathering information, knowing exactly where to go next. And actually, even look at this, just covering his team from the high ground. And there's not that many left. So information is gold at this stage in the game. 15 players remain, and that includes this squad of three. Nice little bit of parkour from Trout. Descends safely. Scanning all the rocks and still not finding anything. So this is slowed down just a little. There you oh, there go. There we there go. You Finally, are. we spotted two now as well. Doesn't want to reveal his location just Oh, yet. they're going to get in that boat. And then when they get in that boat, they're going to get shot in the face. Watch. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Huh? Possibility. Waiting for, waiting for a third, unlike your friend's uh, gold boy. Oh, he's maybe. such a voyeur. Never mind. I think he saw just a little bit too much of them. The player stopped. It looked like he was scoped in. I think that was enough for Shroud to start pulling the trigger. Back in a way, but that's information. That's only a couple, though. They've seen four, if I'm not mistaken. Could have been three. There's plenty more than that still kicking in this game. We also have 12 players left in this game, so this is looking like a potential number one victory for Team Shroud here. A good amount of kills as well. These guys are just completely oblivious as to where they're getting shot from. He's like, I think he's in front of us, Jimmy. No, he's not. He's to our left. Oh, they're off. How that works. Oh, nice. We, from oh. the driver's seat, he's going to be furious. He was, just, he was just going to pick up his friends, man. <laughs> Stroud does not care. <laughs> no, he does not. Look at Chad. Neither does Chad. What is he doing? He's just going in solo, going Rambo. He has the support of Justin on the side as well. They're just unleashing Chad, saying, go and get him. Yeah, I mean, they can cover him from range on both sides, and he can just get close up in case they decide to try and push out and maybe eliminate Chad can catch him off guard. Smoke is going to slow him down, though, as he doesn't have the information, but there's the boat at range. All of them. Oh, How are they alive? They are eating bullets. That is one very powerful boat that is made of rubber, evidently, yeah. but yet somehow it's also made of adamantium. Look at this. The way he's trying to lead the bullets with the drop, it just shouldn't be possible. That's with a Maddox. All they wanted to do was just sail away. You know, just go back, just go back to the island. So that's an exchange that no, they haven't necessarily won, but they've done damage, and that, of course, does start to... Long Ambitious, range. bold. Yeah. It's ridiculous that he just goes for the shots. And like, he's hitting them. Typically, I would be like, all right, guys, let's like, try and see if we can get up closer, and then we can you know, start going for the shots. No, not, not Shroud. It's the psychological warfare of all those bullets just repeatedly oh, pelting someone you. in Australia, and there's a potential for me to shoot him? Let's go for it. And I just... Insane that he does that. Yeah, we saw. We thought Mighty Mouse was aggressive yesterday. This, this is a different kettle of fish in the water. Bullets. Oh, bless him! Oh, and it is flawless. <laughs> Similar to his opponent's namesake. Now, they, they really have just been dominating this. Poor Choco Taco. He's been sitting there twiddling his thumbs, watching them dominate. Just nine remain, including this three. And those players were actually going to be up that hill. So. You know, I mean, obviously, you just kind of process of elimination here. The real only threat that you have is over at the island, but chances are that with, given how many players are left, you're not really going to be seeing anyone pushing from that island. I'd be very shocked if that was the case. So Shroud and them can take the shots because they know that they're not going to get hit in the back. Oh, this, this is, is real dirty. That yeah. shot through. It's got to be tag. careful. Though. Yeah, hasn't pinned down as well at this range, and now just gets back into cover. He does have... His teammate pushing up a little bit closer, trying to maybe wrap around and get a new angle around the rock. And they're so preoccupied here with Shroud that it just gives Justin and Chad the moment to, to, to unleash here. And that's why they're running away. So you're, you're going to get pressured over from the right side. Oh, but Chad is going to go down. There's no way they can get a revive here. They're so spread out and so late in the game. It's just, it's, it's too costly. Too much of a risk. You expose yourself. It's too predictable. I think he might be he heading that way, though. Listen, Shroud leaves no man behind. He's going to go for it. He's got, he's got his teammate up close against... His opponents. He's got Justin over there dueling and keeping them at bay. Chad, so oh God, he's going for it. He is going to try and get it. This is like an action movie for Chad. Chad. He's bleeding internally. He gets Chad and he injects him in the booty. At the cost of his teammate, oh, though. Oh, no, Justin's down. All the humanity. Down, and they're pinned behind the tree. Hollywood, eat your heart out. 
Now go for Justin. Justin's in trouble. It's Shroud's bestie. Ah, oh. that guy. He, he went and he, he thirsted that one. Shroud looking for a vengeance now. He's turning green. Does catch a glimpse. Bullets not connecting just yet towards that tree. That's enough. Does manage to weaken the armor somewhat. Chad's down again. Chad's down. I don't think Shroud can make the same mistake twice. Yeah, no, you can't get pinned down that location. You just barely got out. Is he going to go for it again? There, there's two players just waiting for this play. They're Shroud. waiting for you. You're about to walk into their crosshairs or not. They're running into his. So many bullets. It's just not easy. And now he's oh. getting pushed from the higher ground. He should be dead. 38 points of health. It's all him now. Six players up against Shroud. He's done crazier things before. 88 health, his armor's completely gone, and he's able to get that kill out to Patriot. Shroud's still in this matchup, folks. Oh, no he's going for another. Close, but no cigar. Plenty of kills, though. Don't forget that one. Herculean effort there from Team Shroud. But yes, you're right. Plenty of kills, and that is going to factor in for this heat. Still a top placement, even without the win, so they yeah. get a pretty good multiplier out of that. Now we go over to Courage. And they're also fighting for a win here. Three of them alive. Four opponents to find left in the map. In fact, that was that was a top three finish, which actually is the, the maximum multiplier. They did what they had to do there. Top three, that's a 1.25 times multiplier on their kills. But you know, you gotta go for the Ws, baby. Oh, of course, yeah. Ninja did it. So Ninja did it. Shroud did it. Courage might just oh, do it. It's getting spicy. Gold right? Glove, Josh OG, and Fear itself, of course, on that roster as well. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to create some, you know, Tension over here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone at TwitchCon is going to be like, yeah, you're that guy that didn't like Shroud, right? Hey, I love Courage. You, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love Shroud. Courage not long ago was uh, hanging out on the sofa with me, talking about Call of Duty, and now he's a, he's a streaming superstar. Yeah. I swear he's, he's had a glow up this year. Does it make you question your decisions in life, Alex? I mean, I'm happy. I get to talk about Call of Duty and Doritos, so I, can, I can't complain. There are worse things you could do. Yeah. You know? Zero complaints here. So let's just take stock of where they're at. They're at Pride Rock, Alex, I believe that is. There's only seven left. They're oh, looking who for the W. Does, does Jack prop up K Karma, you know, pick him up? <laughs> <laughs> Start chanting. Simba. <laughs> I had to bust one out. I mean, you know, when you... When Simba. You, yeah. We <laughs> We only have a couple players left in this game as well. Yeah, but why is the circle so wide still? People have been dropping like flies. They must have. Man, Six right remain. The There's only three opponents to find. Look at how open this circle is going to be, though. There is just so that's something. Nice. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Wow. Uncle Jack gets the shot. No one, no, doesn't nail that one. This Solid connections. Good. Not easy shots to hit. It's a long range. The bullet drop as well. That Paladin, though, hits you like a hammer. and. Karma's gonna go down. He got a little too ambitious there. Player was actually gonna be pegging him on the side, and I think this is a safer vibe. The line of sight just isn't there for their opponents. Yeah. to be able to get him up. But the question is, are those players gonna be pushing in, getting aggressive on him? And they are gonna be pushing in on the right side here, so they gotta be prepared for this. Yeah, smart from Courage just to peek his head over just to get that info, and that does, sh well, surely render them oh! a kill. Solid work. Courage, Team Courage with the W. This is a party. This is the first heat. We've got nearly three wins already. Top three finishes almost across the board. Team Lupo lagging behind just a little bit, but that is a solid start. And now, what's the timer on? We must be close. Must be getting down there indeed, but yeah, here we are. We're gonna check it with Dr. Lupo's team. 26 players remaining. And 26 minutes left on the clock. Do you okay. Like that? Oh, that That's worked out so segue, well. Baby. Wow. Beautiful. Well done, boys. Yeah, golf club is a big butt. See now, they have me just read the numbers. I do love this grapple gun when it works out. You can do some rather swaggy plays. Not necessarily that one, as the circle is going to make things a bit awkward. The grapple gun gets him out of dodge. One left on that. Trying to put some suppressing fire like this, using the grapple gun as much more of a utility. Not going for the, the, uh, the style points, but much more just the efficiency. Had a chance to talk with Dr. Lupo about uh, Ninja with Noel, and he's very confident in, the, in this team that he has managed to put together. Feels like the talent is definitely there. But it, it, it's not been their heat thus far, and, and it just as I say that ammunition is going to go down behind that rock, Lupo is going to go in for the revive, and you have these players on that high ground here, and Matt Rusky is living up to this name. He's getting aggressive. He has the AVR, and what was Spyhander. Rare to see that one. 
They need something. These players are so entrenched. He's going to go for the flank. He can't get the down. He's got good damage, though. There's the nade usage. A little Hold bit of patience. Him. Oh, no. That's all. Oh, no. He saw the light. <laughs> it's just him left to represent Team Lupo, and there's plenty of players around him. Let's not forget, 19 remain outside of him, and he's just trying to create a fortress. Closes the door and begs and pleads. Leave me alone. No one's in here. Oh. You throw the monkey at him! <laughs> That's oh. not a great way to go. That team, they looked like they were in a great position in that game, but they just collapsed to that, that position at the top of the hill. Either way, back with Team Ninja, Gold Glove on the screen. Just two remain of the four they started with in this drop. Three kills to Gold Glove, he's still going. And actually, Fear itself, he's just been knocked. This could just become Gold Glove's uh, mission to complete solo. Looks like he wants to try and get over there and help him out. Yeah, but where are they? They must be waiting. Fear itself, of course, will be communicating with him, letting him know where he went down. Nice tight uh, bun there on Fear itself. It's a ballet bun, I believe. Just questions that I have, you know. <laughs> Ask one. I appreciate the context of you bringing that hey, up at this point. I still know all of the ballet positions, 137. Okay. Two years of my life, I'll, uh, I'll never get back. Okay. <laughs> but you'll always have it. Yeah. Um, and you'll oh, be able to bring it up in a commentary in front absolutely. of thousands of people. Yeah, I'll cool. do a plie if you're lucky. I actually would be okay with that. Did a, did a plie. Okay, nice. Thank you. I'm here Good form. I, I, I can barely touch my toes, and, you know, so. Oh, you At least one of us is athletic. <laughs> athletic is a bit too strong a word. I think we're going to have a uh, score update as well here in a little bit. We're going to get that one together, see who's going to be in the lead. Currently, with that... 23 minutes left. First and with that win with Courage, that is also going to put him right back at the top here. I'm, I'm sure it, as we get an idea in a little bit, but we also have Team Dr. Lupo going back into the action here. They're going to be deploying in just a little bit. And Gold Glove and Fear Itself, at the very least, are able to still continue on in this game, right? Even though Fear Itself did go down. I'm genuinely curious, though, like what happened? Yeah, because they didn't see anyone after that revive, or even no one was contesting it whatsoever. They've been able to get all their health back up. Well, this was like a trade or something? Like... Get to uh, just the two of them. <laughs> They'll make the it if they try. Ones. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is, the references are 27. Too, incredibly too old for, for our audience here. <laughs> yeah, okay. you might be right. 27 players remain, just these two up against the world. Yeah, now you're going to be in the... Uh... This is the kind of gameplay that I always struggle with because you have a clear objective. You can see they've even marked it on their map. They know where they're heading, but yeah. it's just that, that chance, that off chance that there could be players here as well. Yeah, and, and waiting. River, Rivertown is a, is a spot where you could get some players that would Ooh, hide that in some buildings and stuff, so... Yeah, I wouldn't be all that shocked if uh, they were ended up. They ended up getting just dogpiled on out of nowhere by some players that were just hiding it out, hearing the footsteps come through. I've taken a lot of liberties with the fact they could have been spotted, but at the moment with that circle closing in, they seem pretty happy not being in too much cover quite yet, but definitely scanning the horizon. Yeah, they want to try and catch people who are a bit late from the circle, just you know, going for that last ditch attempt to get into the safe zone. In the meantime, for Team Shroud, we're back in, and they've got their all players still alive, nice and early in their game, 56. Still standing in that circle, looking rather safe. Yeah, and I just saw on Team Courage's side that they did drop firing range, best spot in the game to land, just throwing it out there, land American or your pleb, and uh, they managed to clear it out completely, so a good- well, they're gonna have loot for days. Yes, there is a lot to get out of that. And also, you know, depending on where that circle goes, I mean, there, there's some nice rotations that you can make out of firing range. For now, though, on to Team Shroud. So close. Had like a small action sequence towards the end, got everyone's heart racing here at TwitchCon. They spent a lot of time in that last game engaging in that fight, and then to get third person like that, right, which, you know, Chad and, and Justin were just getting they got a bit separated, yeah. Yeah, they were dealing with a lot. And I, I did like the plan, though, right, to just push up, get aggressive, and then you continue to have the support. But when you take the eyes away, when you take Shroud away from that fight, then that puts Justin in a very difficult position because then these players know, okay, we can push, we can get this kill. 
So you just need to be able to have that confidence in your squad to be able to push up like that. The way he plays, it is so much about information. That he's just standing on a roof, essentially just rotating 360 degrees and trying to get a glimpse, trying to catch just a, a little bit of movement. Oh, that's nice. And we've seen him willing to take those shots as well at such a long range, so he can also be a danger from it. But yeah, at the moment, hasn't been able to find anything he would have liked. Yeah, it's still in a pretty good spot, all things considered. Casually go in there, find a, find a crate. Oh. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thumbs up to you too, bud. The cheeky smile. He's an entertainer. Shots. Oh, don't you dare, Shroud. He's trying to get the trick shots. He's actually under a whole lot of stress. Gonna be able to get that medkit in. And nice evasive maneuvers, just zigzagging his way to safety. And some suppressing fire from his teammates should aid his escape. Actually, looking to readjust. Pressure from elsewhere. They have to keep a little bit of pressure on because it looks like Chaco Taco is trying to push up and get some kind of a flank or make some progress towards where those shots were coming from. With the cover of smoke, he's now also got Chad with him as well. So hoping that Shroud can provide some cover at range. It is clear that Chad is their aggressor. They've been using him constantly to be the first in the scene. Nice tag and Chaco Taco converts. They get one in the barn. Now going in aggressive again. Chad and Chaco Taco with the front. Concussion, excuse me, cluster going in. Shop there as we jump over to Chad's POV, a bit more of the aggressive player here, as you had mentioned before him and Chaco Taco. And I think that is a, a safe clear for them, and they were able to take out whoever was there by that barn. So, Well, there you talked about the use of smokes early on as well. I mean, there's one that's just allowed to make you wrap around to the left. That is quite well done to give them an advantage, give them some extra loot as they pick things up to move on. And actually, we can see the teams and points as well. You can see Team Ninja are just narrowly in the lead for now. Team Courage just on the tail as well, and Shroud, their, their, their kills just aren't quite up to par just yet. Lupo lagging behind as well. 18, 18 minutes left in the heat as well for these teams to catch up. I mean, one good game, it's all it takes. Flip the switch. And with that full wipe there, that's gonna be a considerable amount of kills that they were able to pick up. Some players are also going to be trapped inside of here as well. Nice! Oh, he's going to get another one. Shooting from the hip. There's a lot of armor. Does get the knock. He also has that laser sight too, so that's really going to allow that SOG to do so oh, oh. much damage and be so consistent. He is on the hunt. Justin, I don't think he's... I don't think he's in too much trouble. Chocolate Tackers no, getting the revive. Out. Yeah, he came off the roof. That was just, he read that player the whole way. They didn't wrap around as well to find the kills. What'd you call that yesterday? Tactical? Something? That's the tactical crouch there, John. Uh huh, yeah. yeah. Tactical crouch. 100% calculated. Just had to make sure his crouch button was working properly. Just so happened to be over the carcass of another opponent. Carcass. What a visceral description. Sounds, sounds mean, right? It does. Sounds like really dark. They want to get that heli out of the air, and actually, shots are connecting. The black smoke starts to plume. That's never a good sign. They're out of it. They're bailing. We're out of here. <laughs> they are gone. You're going to hear the helicopter blow up in just a little bit. And Team Shroud is going to be on the prowl here, fellas. They smell and blood. We saw they were pretty far down the scoreboard. They, they desperately need to get top three in this game. But they need to put a lot of frags on the board to help that multiplier to be able to catch up. Yeah. They have some information. It's almost like they want to battle back from where they came from. The circle changing their mind. And they're actually going to be essentially running parallel with these players that they've spotted towards the barnyard. And also you can make a rotation into firing range as well, uh, which should give you some suitable cover. But Chaco Taco, man, Is he's he living really? his best life. He's, he's just pushing his hyper aggressive. Combat axe switching to it. Go That's... for the combat axe. Oh, I would love this. That puts a Go smile for it. on my face. Believe. Hasn't seen anyone yet as he goes through the barn. I like that he switched his scope up. He's expecting some close quarter battle here. In the meantime, his teammates are kind of giving him a little bit of room to maneuver. Switches to that. Almost using him as bait. Like, yeah, he can get some information as well, but he'll be able to flush some players out of position, except maybe not that one. That one's pretty solid. That's not an angle he can really work with. And actually, I think he realizes the time isn't on his side. 25 seconds before that starts to close in. And Shroud in the truck. And he's going to end up dropping to that smoke in case he needs to, to disengage. I mean, granted, though, the open field here makes that very, very challenging. He's so far away from his teammates. I mean, both, they know the other squad has to move eventually, right? That's why you'll see exactly. that occasionally glancing over there. They need to make, pull their socks off and go for a bit of a jog themselves. But and they're not too far, though, from this next circle. So 
the very least, you know that these players are going to come out. That could be an opportunity to get a full wipe. More kills on the board. Oh! Oh, what was that? In the meantime... Wait, what? It was TP under fire. Shroud's now connecting some shots on that hillside. Not quite going to convert, but Team Courage looked like they were under a lot of pressure there. A lot of unexpected pressure as well. It came yeah. from where they least expected it. There you can see are. TP here. There is Karma down on the ground. So is Hysteria. This team is in tatters. They're in a really tough spot. 34 players left in oh. this match as oh. well, and he's dropped right at the end. Couldn't recover, and they'll have to get into a new game. Rough spot to be in there for Team Courage, especially considering that we only have 14 minutes left in this. First heat for sure. Nice, that should be a kill. Does so. Nice shot. Oh, nice oh, shot. Mother. He's making this weapon sing. Oh, he's gonna go for more. He sees one's up on the ridge line. These are aggressive, aggressive chances. They are so exposed there. They're sitting ducks. And this is the spot that they were in before as well in that last game. They had focused so much time on an engagement looking for the kill that they forgot about the fact that there were other players there, you know? And I get it, right? You want to get as many kills as you can. Wow! He's unstoppable. It's like he takes three just to get the lineup, and then that last one just really nails its target. Six kills. That's really going to start getting that, uh, that point. It's on par. I'm having a quick update now. Yeah, so 40. What is it? 40? My eyesight's terrible. 60 to 40. Team Shroud second in the running at the moment. A win here. Double-digit kills. You've got a real party on your hands. Time, though. Time becoming a factor. 13 minutes. I don't know if they can finish in that time. I think they can. All right, with 25 players remaining here, you think so? Yeah, I think it's possible to be able to finish the game. Especially with how we watched guys like Chad, yeah, Chaco Taco just push up and it just, you know, not holding anything back whatsoever. So, so cheeky spray painting as he runs along the trains. They're still in a very good spot, even if uh, all four together here. It's like Hansel and Gretel, he's leaving a trail of chicken spray paints. He's a little... Find his way back home. Vandal over here, you know? Brain all over the place. We found Banksy. <laughs> now that would be a, imagine if Shroud was Banksy. That this would whole be something time. else, wouldn't it, Alex? You know, I'm starting to believe I'm going to start that conspiracy theory. <laughs> I'll be on the forums tonight. Go on our conspiracy theories and just. What if Shroud? What if his attendance at events coincided with Banksy's in that country? <gasps> what if there's a Banksy in San Jose? Right, right in the week, yeah. <laughs> this is terrible. This next circle is going to be collapsing in 30 seconds. That is a fun spot for that circle to be in as well. Just south of the estate, south of Raid. A lot of open field. Some yeah, this is uncomfortable. So many places they could be coming from. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Also, uh, another thing we need to acknowledge here uh, as well is that this whole team not looking that great armor-wise, right? Sure. So, you get into an engagement, Shroud, the armor is just not going to help him. It's probably going to eat, you know, some damage, but it won't really do all that much. He does have a trauma kit, though, and it looks like it's about to get a little hot. Already one connection from Justin. Managed to get the knock on this squad. They are seem quite closely knit, actually, quite condenser actually catches a glimpse of one in the grass the snake in the grass no more though and they just that they convert the initial knock it was justin who did all of the hard work there who needs armor when you can take those long range engagements and now just shroud clearing out the house making sure it's all safe they want to get a little bit more entrenched they still have to move a bit farther making sure there's no danger as they find that last player they spotted one more as well shroud's gonna get him from the hip nice shooting Eight kills, closing in on that magic number. Looking for double digits. And now just healing up, getting ready for that final engagement as well as that circle comes in just a little bit closer. A trophy system this late game is actually fantastic. Being able to have that to deploy when things do get heated, it just stops those nine bangs, those nades. When you get into an awkward spot, that trophy system's gonna be a Oh, God said he gets hit. Down to 90, he's just going to start spamming the first aid kits while his teammates look for info, as does he. And oh, that's not easy to hit. Oh, he's knocked. Solid connection. Smoke comes in from his teammates. They're going to look to try and get the revive. Who's it going to be? Does look like Chad's going to be given the responsibility. 
Meanwhile, the other two players pushing up as well. He's got to get away. That blue circle is going to come in. I think he's just on the right side of it, just barely. But they know exactly where he is, and he's got to relocate. Yeah, Nade's raining in on that location. That smoke has helped him. I talked about the trophy system. That could be exactly what it's been doing, uh, capable of doing here as he throws out a nade of his own. It actually just caught something, too. I think that could have potentially been a nine bang or, or some frags. I, I heard it just it one choke up, one of the utility. Yeah, Choco Taco in trouble, in strife. This is going to be an intense situation here for Team Shroud as they will be what 11 play players play? left in this game. So currently Sands, Team Courage is in the lead. And we only have less than 10 minutes left in this game. Team Lupo, struggle bus. It's not it's been, been a great been. day for them, has it? It's only, the first first. Team. it's only the first team. There are a couple more, yeah. three more. Maybe just getting their feet, getting to grips with what works and what doesn't, especially here on that stage environment. And a whole lot of cash on the line as well. For anyone that's just joined us, $250,000 up for grabs with these four teams. Team Ninja, Team Shroud, Team Courage, and Team Lupo. Ooh, that's a good find, as you just brought up the armor on all that team. He just finds one right at the end to help him out. Yeah, that's a fresh one after all of that warfare he's been uh, undergoing. And another trophy as well. Something that you, you wouldn't really expect because in, in competitive Call of Duty, right, back in the day, you used the trophy system, especially in Search and Destroy, to be able to ward off any kind of yeah. uh, you know, potential pushes with, with uh, EMPs or, or whatnot. Look at that They got three red dots on the map. That's a whole lot of information. They know they're coming. Well, Shroud set up two trophy systems, and they're just lobbing grenades over into that area as well. This is a great advantage for his team. Shock and awe tactics, although Chad is brought down very low, right on the edge of the circle as well. A tense scenario for the late stages of this, of this match. Oh, Chad's getting pressured as well. Shroud's going to make the call, looking to provide support. Nades raining in. This is going to get close quarters oh. and fast. Not nice connection from the hip. Just tracking them through the buildings as well, just catching barely glimpses of open doors and through the windows. Nine opponents remain. And also so smart to be able to go back, get those trophy systems. It's going to help you out in your next circle, which Luckily for them, close by, uh, but also just if they position themselves on top of this hill, that is really going to be the difference maker because you could expect players to chunk nine bangs up there. Trophies are going to catch that right away. This, I mean, getting to this high ground as soon as possible, it makes a lot of sense. They're, they are a little sketched out. They want to make sure it is not going to be held already. Certainly a possibility. Checking every angle available to him. He's just looking for info. There have to be. There has to be people in this circle yeah. already. And they know it. You just cleared out that convenience store down low. And you really just need to expect that someone's going to be inside of that house to the left of Shroud here. But now that circle starts to push in. And the players, I mean, if, there any, if there's anyone inside of that house, they're more than likely going to stay there. Seven minutes and eight players left up against Team Shroud if they want to go ahead and extend their lead. I say extend their lead, they actually found themselves in third position right now. Courage still the spearhead of the assault in our first heat. Rocking and rolling as they retrieve their trophy and start their advance. Six minutes left here in heat one of the Doritos Bowl, TwitchCon 2018. Some of the best streamers in the world on that stage, playing Blackout, and it has been an insane day. We started off with Shroud completely wiping Team Lupo as they jumped at the same location. It was like the first station. 30 seconds. That was wild. We've had some number one victories, and what a great shot there from Shroud right through the trees. They've known there's someone, there's players pinned down in this area for some time now, and Shroud has just been looking for it. And again, the system of oh, teammates flushing everyone 11. out, keeping the attention, Shroud is just doing work. Look at that kill count. 11 eliminations and a tag? What? Excuse yeah. me? Because players... Oh my goodness, another! Because players uh, threw down a sensor dart in case anyone pushed up on the house. I said it before that they were going to be holed up inside of there because they had no reason to push out. And now... Well, if they do, they're going to be met with a flurry of bullets from Team Shroud. It's terrifying. I just wouldn't want to peek. If, I'm, if I was in their opponent's scenario, I'm just going to be prone and belly to the ground, whimpering a little bit, perhaps. 
You got Chad and oh, Taco look at Taco. That circle as well. They're pushing in. Look the at the first line of offense here. They get aggressive. Chad. Oh! oh! <laughs> what a shot from Shroud as they get the number one victory. Chad and Choco Taco so hyper aggressive as well. They just charged in and got a double. In combination with that, a nice symbiotic performance from the squad. Team Shroud, that's going to put them in good stead as well. We'll be checking in the standings in just a moment, waiting for that time to tick away for the remaining squads. We're not done yet. Five minutes left, and it does look like some of the other teams are still making good progress. 13 kills for Shroud in that one, though. That's going to get plenty of points. Yeah, yeah that, absolutely, man. That helps. That, or, that, that system they have with that team is nasty, but here we go. Dr. Lupo, they've had that rough day, but they're looking to build upon it now. A couple of clean kills right as we tune in. Here's one more jumping over. They're all, they're all in trouble. Matt Rusky needs help. It looks like it's going to be just divide and conquer. Lupo with one, and Noel with the other. That was brutal. Everyone down to low HP. We caught those three frags, but the team, it was costly. Well, they should be able to get everyone kind of up and going, but it's time to heal before the next engagement comes. Just remember, those of you here at TwitchCon, and also for those of you watching at home, this is just our first heat. These players are going to be up here for quite a while. Next couple hours, three more heats. Three That's more right. heats, one hour each. A lot of blackout will be played here in San Jose. And bonus points are awarded if you place within the top 10 alongside your kill count. So keep your eyes on that one as they start to continue to hunt for frags. <clears throat> That's the thing with the time left in the heat. They just need to go find as many, as many frags as possible. I said those players are going to be in the house. Just you're feeling quite smug. It's almost as if I'm pretty good. Almost as if <laughs> feeling I'm good about good. yourself? I love them. I love when it's seeing a whole squad in this truck. It's just a mobile barricade. It's slow, it's loud. But if you can hit your shots, you really can be a force to be reckoned with. Not too much time left, though. They're just looking for kills at this point. You're certainly not going to be able to get a top 10 finish in 3 minutes and 56 seconds, but they can do their best to get as many kills as they can. They just want blood. They're on the hunt as well. Lupo and the crew know that they're going to be players inside of that house, able to get one player down, two players, as a matter of fact. And that is going to be a clean amount of kills there. Another Ooh. nice shots Ooh. from Dr. Lupo. Still breathing. Oh, hit him with it. You can't. You surely can't. Nice positioning from him. He's got the combat axe out. He's just trying to catch them all. And they retreat in the field. They have armor. He's going to try and shred through that. Good precision. His teammates are going to finish it off. Nice work from Ammunition. And the KN as well with that heavy ammo just really tears through that armor. That was so aggressive as well. Playing with the time and just being unrelenting as they take over that house. Even Lupo getting caught out in the open. He wants to go for more. And Ammunition is He's got to get shooting as many, at something. As many kills as he can, fellas. He only has three minutes and oh, no. or less than three minutes left, but he's going to go down. Link, can you miss it in the meantime with this final closing? What is it, essentially? Yeah, two minutes just over. And Ninja. Not a helicopter is pilot. Is airborne, yeah. Not known for his helicopter skills. Much stronger on the ground, as any ninja would be. Travel to indicated safe zone. A ninja flying a helicopter. Yeah, it's not you. Not I feel like that's a Chuck sentence. Norris movie just waiting to happen, you know? In a world. Where ninjas fly helicopters. I'd pay to see that in the theater. I'm down with that. Yeah, I absolutely would. Yeah, I'd sneak in for sure. It's always in a world, though. It's in always a world. <laughs> in a world. Oh, boy. Well, we only have a couple minutes left here, folks. We got two minutes on the clock. As it currently stands, Team Shroud has 103 points. That's not, not a bad. bad. That's not bad at all for the first team. That's just the opening salvo as well. Not bad. Ninja looking for any kills here at the end. His team right around, right heading towards the edge of the circle, looking to see if they can find anything in these last few moments just to help out. It might not be happening, though. And yeah, actually, I mean, they don't have to worry about the circle whatsoever. They're just they're running right through it, see what they can get. Twenty-six alive. How long have they got? Really no time at all. They just need to yeah. get a couple more on that kill tally. Everyone else is getting kills, but as it currently stands, not 
team Here we go. Oh, he's got one, and he can't connect the shots. That's a very tough one to hit, and he's actually going to go for more. There's so many there. He could actually rack a couple up right here at the end. Yeah, it's not easy with the ICR. Feels like he's just throwing paintball pellets at them. Doing anything at this point. It's about racking up as many eliminations. Only have 45 seconds remaining here in Heat 1 for the Doritos Bowl. And Ninja finds one in front, too, as a matter of fact, because he's going to push up that hill. He'll have Go Glove and Fear itself there for support. Trying to tag him up for his teammates. Yeah, getting aggressive now. And there it is, Fear there itself with a couple. That's not bad at all right at the end. That'll help him out. But that should just be the last opportunity they have to add anything onto their score. I'm having a lot of fun. This is just the first heat. 20 seconds remaining in Heat 1. You're just going hunting at this point, gentlemen. <laughs> no, you're just going for a nice Sunday drive. Oh, you know, it's, it's a Saturday. You got to be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's, that's going to do it. All right, so that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, for Heat 1, Ninja was able to collect himself another kill. Maybe that'll come back and help him later on in this competition, but... Towards uh, the end of the day, yeah, could I be the deciding to, factor. I need to see those scores ASAP. Yeah, that's right. So if we can take a look at the uh, scoreboard here in just a little bit, get I an idea. But Shroud, though, he is, he is going to be uh, in the lead here, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah I think that, that, what was it, 13 kill performance and the win with the multiplier, I think that's going to have just tipped Courage into that second position. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the scoreboard currently. It's coming. Here we are. It's coming. I will see the scoreboard. A lot of us had no doubt. Yeah, it's up there. We have Shroud with 103 points. We've got Courage with 66.5. Ninja with 42 points, and Dr. Lupo with 39.5 as well. So that's your standing. Some of us saw it.